Hello, welcome to Astro Breeze Weekly Transits, and we're moving right along in April, and we're at 21 degrees sun today. What do they call it, the Cassini, when it's at that peak here? Look at it right there on Jupiter. I think this is probably, uh, this is cool. <laughs> I mean, it's the sun is, you know, hits Jupiter yearly, but it's in different places, and this year happens to be right there at 21 degrees Aries. So, oh, wow, what would that mean? You know, you think bold approaches, um, expanding our future, right, with Jupiter. Um, what's the big pull in your life? What do you want to do? You know, right now with the sun on Jupiter, big, you know, uh, vitality. Where do you want to go? What do you want to light up? What do you want to do? You know, that Aries energy is calling you. <laughs> Go for it. The, this, uh, you know, right at this this degree, this Sabian symbol, it's <clears throat> because it's 21 and some odd minutes, they always give it the next one. So it's like tw it, it, the 20 do 22 degree mark. Sabian symbol is the gate to the garden of desire. So are you moving toward it or are you spinning your wheels? I think this is a good time to, you know, assess this as we, you know, get the rest of things done while we're moving toward this new moon you know we're in that last you know we're coming into um well right now it's like here the moon just moving into capricorn we're coming into that last quarter phase you know um we got to resolve things that we started at the new moon in aries you know at the at, at the end of march and on the on the solstice on the equinox so look at where aries and capricorn are in your chart you know we know that square and we want to see you want to look at where that tension is and use that that tension to to move forward to your goals you know that's what's the action of that square kind of energy to make make yourself produce some action <laughs> all right uh what else do i have on that so do a little introspection in the next few days while that that moon is going through you know capricorn here and again, assess where it's at in your chart, what house it is, so you can glean that meaning of this, you know, um, conjunction here in Aries. So you want to see what what two forces are are involved and kind of meld that together. Okay, next big thing, kind of this week today, also Venus is you know changed sign, just moved into Gemini. So, wow. Venus and Gemini, that's like lots of interests, <laughs> busy interests, lots of things. Um, yeah, kind of going from one to another, social, uh, busy, busy interests, or lots of interests, I'd say. You know, this time of, of it's speeding up what, we're, what we want. You know, Venus brings what we enjoy and what brings us pleasure, what brings pleasure to our senses. And, you know, when she goes through a sign, she draws us to that particular pleasure. So going through the next however many weeks here in in uh, Gemini you know we'll be busy with with you know those Gemini things to us um could be books communications uh trips siblings uh, computers technology reading courses short trips you know all those third house sort of Gemini types of things you know, because Venus is there. You know, we went from that earthiness, security, now we're kind of moving into a different realm. Um, let's go look. Anything else today? Uh, moon is, the, the moon's making a lot of aspects this next week. You know, so we got here the next couple days here, the moon going through Capricorn. So here, um, um, Venus is, well, I'll wait till she gets there. Let's see, we got just pretty much, oh, I know what I was gonna remember. And I didn't write down these these times, but you can look up the moon, the moon, how does I say this? The moon void of courses, the moon's void of course. <laughs> I don't know how you make that plural. The, the times of the week, this week, that the moon is void of course, there we go, <laughs> are long. They're like today it was, um, Oh gosh, like 
nine like eastern east coast time like nine something in the morning or 10 something this morning was it to like you know four or five this afternoon i i forget off the top of my head but they're long um i think i mentioned that last week when i did the, the thing on trump and uh, that uh, you know, that having the uh, moon void of course during that trial was very interesting but um they're long this week, so pay attention to that because you may not want to start something or or, uh, or you might want to if you want to ditch something somebody says hey do you want to go somewhere and, and you don't and you go yeah. Make sure you say agree during the moon void, of course, and you get more likely than not to get out of it. <laughs> that sounds horrible, but I know we all do that. Hey, you, you, I don't want to pay these taxes Oh, I'll send it today. <laughs> anyway. Um, so you you just want to make sure that you can use that energy to your advantage there's we go there we go whether you want to do something or not <laughs> astrology is you know is a uh, divine information okay moving on um let's see i got the it was like on the 11th we kind of move well we can talk about that um moon is almost done it'll be done that day it'll go through there so it will kind of that soberingness of the moon the next few days will change after it crosses over pluto Woo! <laughs> but uh anyway that's that you know moon pluto context i mean it's once a month but they i don't know they're just deep they they can be um ooh, ooh. i'll just say that okay moving on so let's see here we've got Venus getting really close to here it is uh yeah I got it just about on the right time her um square to did I do it no we missed it hold on back 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 I gotta go back 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 oh there it is okay I want to do okay so she makes a trine first she's in an air sign how did I miss this I wanted to see it okay she's in an air sign here and then it she makes a trine over to Pluto so Venus trine Pluto. This is still today. I was, that's what I thought. There was another thing I, I knew I mentioned. Looking at her, didn't see it. So we have sudden desire to get rid of some things in your life. Maybe lighten your load. Maybe uh, time for personal inner tra inner transformations. Getting rid of something that's just been plaguing you. You know, Pluto transformation uh, depth and being in a harmonious relationship with Venus. It's easy to get rid of that crap. It's easy to throw away that old stuff. It's easy to ditch that person. It's easy to unfriend them. It's easy to hide them. It's easy to just get rid of those those old gum wrappers you've been holding on to that somebody gave you. You know, it's like this, I don't know, I want to call it stupid sentimentality of things that we all get. You know, it's time to clean out that drawer and just like, you know, why am I hanging on to this? That's some of the kind of pl Plutonian transformations with Venus, our values, some of the things that happen. So don't be surprised if, if you feel like don't crap out this week. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Now Venus moving on. And now here she's coming closer to uh, on Thursday on her. Now she's squaring Saturn. So do it before she squares Saturn because that might make you change your mind. <laughs> no, no, I was kidding. Anyway, um, this is on. Um, we have focusing on um just how do I want to say it some things that are maybe more challenging or um how would I say it there sometimes just the thought of something is more challenging than actually doing it you know actually getting you know you just getting up and do it you're talking yourself out of it it's um that's kind of basically it it's sort of that Saturnian dour sour did you do this? Did you, did you really want to do that? I don't know if you want to do that. I'm bringing up a bunch of self-doubt for you, you know, I'm making you second guess yourself. Uh, uh. Well, I mean, it is it is what it is. So just take it for what it is and um, don't let it make you second guess yourself, but let it make you go over and just see that it's all in, it's all cool and kosher and checked and all good, you know, that your underwear is not hanging out or you know, you don't have booger or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, just this is like, all right, whatever it is, <clears throat> let me just make sure things are cool. It's like, thank you. <laughs> okay. So um, also could be some um, older love, sadness in love, um, 
discipline in love, discipline or sadness in financial or um, doubt in in um, your creativity. So all of that is that Saturn square Venus kind of thing. So don't let it get you down. It's quick. It will only be. Uh, oh, look at there. Now Saturn has to move with it. It's going to be two days. Then Venus moves ahead. But like, you know, I want to say that the S word. <laughs> Come on. S-H-I-T. <laughs> no, but look at it's like here Thursday. And then, of course, Saturn is look at it. it's like one, you know, it's got to be right there. So it's like all day Thursday here, you know, moves into it. Venus is moving fast, though. Oops, it's going fast. Whoa. Come on, baby. We're going one day at a time. There we go. Wednesday, it's it's there. It's moving in. So it's like probably late Wednesday. And there's Thursday. And then we move into Friday. And then, yeah, Venus speed ahead. So kind of the end of the week. You may not feel like partying or so. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the moon moving in Aquarius could be could help you could to be a little bit more removed from it. You know, Aquarian moon is kind of calm, cool, and collected. So that's probably a good thing because you know we got the moon here in Aquarius while Venus is sort of at the peak, you know, in that square. So it's kind of like putting the little things in your ears, going na 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 na. <laughs> All right. And that is really the bigger high points of the week. Let's look around here. Um, see, nothing else is really within orb. We got, uh, what else we got? Uh, what else did I see? We're getting close, of course, to building up to the new moon. We have, you know, uh, the sun getting close to the north node, but not yet. Let's look at Mercury. How fast? Let's go back. No. Mercury's still, no, still, still away. Uh, Friday, Saturday, it's getting close to slowing down. Monday, Mercury, it's getting closer to Uranus. Yeah, but by, let's see, let's go look next week. Look, it's going snow. It's almost like the 21st. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't, Mercury doesn't quite get to Uranus right now. It's like, oh, darn, the message almost reached the eccentric teacher. <laughs> it, and look, it's the stationing right here on the, the 21st, which we'll talk more about next week. But um, you, you can see that it's like almost there. The moon crossed over and it was Mercury slowing down. Boom, do, 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 do. Ran out of gas. All right, let's go back. We'll look at that next week. We'll just go up to... Here we're coming at next Monday. Venus is already out of there. See if she making aspects to anything. She would made that, you know, um, half a semi sextile a, a node, not a big deal. I mean, it is, it's annoying. You know, we just learned that. So we go back, we have that little annoying aspect. And Venus was at four degrees. Anyway, to, you know, semi sextile and in conjunct or queen, queen tunks to the nodes. So a little adjustment, maybe adjustment with values, um, because we have that or getting rid of stuff that would kind of that would kind of go with Venus enacting both that trine to Pluto and then the square to Saturn, you know, with with being semi sextile, the north node in Quincunx stays south node, if I said that right, because that's like nothing in common, you know, with your values, what you're moving toward, and, you know, the the, the karmic side, the, the Quincunx with getting rid of stuff. So it'd be kind of more like getting rid of stuff because you're not identifying with things anymore. Yay. So I, I think that's just going to be, we're going to probably have lots of garbage going out this week, <laughs> people getting rid of stuff. All right. And then again, let's go up to Tuesday. See, Venus is still not making any big aspects, nothing at eight degrees. Mars is 12, um, the moon. So Mars, maybe we'll, when it moves on, we'll get, you know, a sextile to, um, you can see Mars is getting closer to be a sextile with Mercury. You know, Mercury is going to be slowing down, so Mars will hover over the right there because you'll see that will slow down. Um, moon. See, it's like kind of a kind of I don't want to say dull week, but it's not like bing 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 pong pong like we've had other weeks. Sometimes we need those types of weeks. All right. So last thing, um, just 
kind of watch those those um, moons, those moon void of course periods, because they're during the day as well, and they're long. You know, sometimes they're at night for you know if it's if it's you know at three to five in the morning. You know, that's not a big deal. But when it's you know business hours, nine ten in the morning uh, till five in the afternoon, or if you go to the west coast, you know it's uh, it's still still business time. So watch that, use it wisely. And we will see you all next week. Bye. Thanks for listening.